Hey guys, it's Ben from R&B Reptiles. We're hanging out with our friend Kai here from Lucas Landon Reptiles. Royals. <laughs> he says Royals, it's really Royals, but we're trying to get him to uh, get into some other reptiles, not just ball pythons. So comment below if you think that he should. We'll take a little vote on it. But anyway, so he has some really cool stuff. We came to visit his uh, little facility here, and he's going to walk us through some of his projects that he has this year and what he's working with. So actually, Ben and Ryan picked their top three, so as we go through these, uh, I'll tell you my plans for them. So we can start with this boy. This is one of Ben's top three. Yeah, this is a pastel desert ghost. And I really like the desert ghost gene. It's a recessive. You can see it kind of makes things um, a little cleaner. And a little. <laughs> a lot cleaner. And it, uh, it's not like uh, Orange Ghost or some of the other hypos that are out there. It's, it's definitely different. So um, definitely a cool gene to work with. So what do you got going on with it? Um, so he's being paired to a pinstripe pet desert ghost and also a another pastel desert ghost. Um, the pastel desert ghost, I think I felt some follicles the other day. Not sure, but um, she, she looks like she is at least developing because our temperature is around like 82 degrees right now. And then go from there. Awesome. What else you got? This is an Enchi Pied. Enchi is one of the genes that I really enjoy putting into a lot of things. Really changes up the pattern, makes things a little more fun for me. It gives you an orange tone there in some places you can see here. And, uh, but this is also the Pied, which is recessive and you can tell the Pied out breaks up into white. Kind of just looks like the, the regular pattern is just melting off of the snake. It's super cool, super fun animals. What are your plans for this guy? Well, she's got a way to go. Shoot. I am trying to make some Orange Dream pet pies to pair to her. Next maybe year. next year. That'd be so awesome. That's, that's my plan. The, the Orange Dream that I'm using is a, he's also got Enchi, Yellow Belly, and Pinstripe. So some kind of orange dream pet pie combo. Hopefully I can produce a male to go to her in a couple years. But yeah, she's she's actually very bright for an Enchi. Almost like she has pastel in it, but she doesn't. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I like how the orange comes up and over here. Yeah, she's, she's the brighter of the two sisters that I got. All right, so, okay. so what do you got here? So this is a Lesser Pastel Super Stripe female. Mm -hmm. She gave me a clutch of eggs this year. Awesome. Um, trying to make some bells with her. So she was paired to a uh, Lesser Superfly male. Last okay. year, I actually put her with the um, Pastel Desert Ghost male that you saw. So I have some heads from mm -hmm. that clutch. I think uh, they'll be up to size next year to pair back to uh, one of the visual Desert Ghost females that I have. And this is the clutch of eggs you got this year from her. She is in the incubator now, you said, right? Yeah. So yep. you guys got to watch his YouTube channel and see when he uh, cuts those eggs or when they hatch out and you can see what came of it and what uh, he produced bells or what. So it's pretty exciting stuff. I like Super Stripe. Fun. All right, guys, now I'm going to jump in and show you my top three snakes from Kai's collection. Now, what do we got going on here? This is my highway that I was hoping that he would breed last year. He just didn't do the job. Oh, didn't no. Didn't do the job this year either. Yeah, but, you uh, gotta sell him. I, no, <laughs> not, not at all. You gotta sell him. Uh, I really like this little like beauty mark that he has, like an X, X marks the spot on the highway. Gotta take the highway to get to the treasure. Man, this guy's gorgeous. Yeah. Almost looks hypo. He's really light in color. As he got a little bit older, his color got brighter, lighter. Almost looks like he has, I don't know, like you said, hypo in it. Plans is to put him to the ivory female and also the lesser pastel super stripe that you guys saw earlier. 
Those are great ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for agreeing with me. No problem. This one is awesome. This one is your favorite, I think, out of the three. One of the most orange snakes I've ever seen. Me, me too. And this is? Oh, uh, orange dream, enchi, yellow belly, pinstripe. Wow. It's really bright. Really Super bright. Super bright Super oranges. orange, yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I really like the fact that there are no fire, no pastel in it, because they would probably just wash out the orange. Yep. I think the yellow belly makes a huge difference. I've seen ones without the yellow belly, and just doesn't compare to this. And the yellow belly is kind of subtle, but when you add it to this, it really makes it, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, I think that's what is responsible for this, like, kind of defined stripe, where the orange comes up off the belly. Yeah. So my goal is to add another dose of Orange Dream into this. Yes, that's um, awesome. Maybe add the spider into it to get rid of some of the pattern and bring the uh, you know, the speckling up a little bit, further further um, clean it up. Okay, so we'll buy one of those. Thank you. <laughs> now this one is a stunner. Just can't wait to get her up to size. Check this out. Now you were saying this is a blade clown. Blade clown, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with blades, but they're really reduced. Usually not this reduced. Um, the word on the street is it's not super blade or anything else, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see in a we'll, couple of years. <laughs> we're going to have to follow this one close because she's gorgeous. Yeah. I want to add Enchi to it. I want to add Orange Dream to it. So I don't have any males right now, so we'll see how that works out. But that's okay. the plan. Sounds like a great plan. Yeah, yeah. I actually got a couple people asking already for eggs from her. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Maybe not yet. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for joining us at Kai's place. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, like and subscribe to us. Also like and subscribe to Kai's channel over at Lucas Landon Royals. And make sure you tell him that you want it to be Lucas Landon Reptiles. Don't forget to go back to our last week's video. We're giving away a skink. You can check that out. All you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment because we're picking the names from a comment picker. And make sure you join us next week for another exciting video with us. We're gonna be talking about blue tongue skinks and some of the husbandry. But also, we have some more giveaways we're gonna be doing all summer long, so don't forget to keep joining into the conversation with us. Thanks guys for joining us, and have a great day. All right, we're gonna let go. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> have to keep the watch. Yeah, <laughs> just trying to take my watch. <laughs>